doing, TJ? Good to see you, man. Good to see you. Y'all know TJ. Go check his channel. Link in description if you don't. Rip and Rider. Tons of board reviews. Let's make some turns. Let's do it. DJ, today you are on a 28 centimeter wide board. That is correct. You've ridden man. shit tons of boards. Uh, do you consider them harder to ride or anything? Or do you got any got any knowledge for the peeps on wider boards? Yeah, wider boards definitely have a different feel to them. I think the width is one of the dominating factors to the feel as well. The board I'm on today happens to have a larger side cut as well at around nine meters. So uh, those are the two things I'm getting used to the most, but they also make this board really fun for laying over turns. Yes. And a uh, great board for out here riding yep. with Ryan today. The carving's looking, looking terrific on it. Um, I know I didn't tape you the best that run, but... Uh, I'm sure you killed it. Yeah, it's, uh, it's kind of congested out here, so we're actually getting, not going to tape too much today, but just got to kick out something since PJ and I are together. Oh, 100%. Hey, kick out a little tip for some peeps. Yeah, guys, so I think early season right now, one of the funnest things to do is go around and look for side hits. Two things, the thing to keep in mind for side hits is always take that glance uphill before you're actually jumping back into the slope. Make sure you're not gonna jump right into another rider or skier. And check out the landing too, because it's still pretty low coverage out here. You might be launching yourself right into some rocks. I love your safety tip, because I've seen a couple people just not look and just jump right into the run while skiers were bombing down. Ooh, too sketchy, play it safe. Rock and roll, TJ. Yeah. Such a beauty day. Uh, my random tip, if you want 180s, uh, so so many people are just bombing down here and the snowboarders would be sketchy if they're not to a certain ability level to be doing 180s, just slow it down. Everyone I'm pretty sure can basically just stand there without their board on and jump a 180. The motions on snow, they're not much different. You just have to jump off your edge or ollie it off your tail and edge a little bit. but. If you don't slow it down, you'll never get it safely. Where you can pretty much just cheat them and do them weak go sauce. They ain't gonna be awesome, but if you just slow it down and actually try some. So this is what it will look like. I'm gonna keep this bit short and sweet, but first, 
Awesome Colorado conditions this early in the year, huh? It's absolutely amazing, man. It feels so good to be back out here. You told me because uh, you're in Whistler again this season, right? Yep, yeah, based up in Whistler. So just starting to get a little bit of snow up in the Alpine, but rain down low. But you so. said they might not be open until around November, uh, Thanksgiving. That's right, late November. Ooh. That's usually the opening day. Colorado, it is one of the beautiful things of Colorado. They're one of the first open and usually one of the first and, and latest open. Yep, yeah, one of the longest seasons around. It's, uh, yeah, it's a great place. Hope to spend more time here this season, man. Cool. Thank you all for watching. Happy shredding. Go check out his page. Link in description. All sorts of shred bids. Thanks, guys. Yeah. And kapla! Kapla!